What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now today we need to have a chat. We need to have a chat about what is a VIP build and what is just not. What is not even in the realm of a VIP build? Like, really? Let's just jump in the video. We'll have a little bit of a chat about what to expect and what just yet is not even close. All right, now before we get into any of the car, I want to just point out that having Apple CarPlay or not having Apple CarPlay, whether it's just this or it's whatever, has literally nothing to do with a VIP build or whatsoever. It has nothing to do with it. It is an incredibly cool feature, but it's got nothing to do with your car being or not being VIP. Now, if you guys do want to get something like that for your car, hang around, keep on this channel, sub, like, blah, 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 because we are going to actually be working with Cram Focus in the future. I've already reached out to them and we're going to be having a discount code for you all. So if you want to get the Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto in the 186 or a whole bunch of other models of Crowns or Lexus or whatever, we will be able to get that for you and at a discounted price. Guys, I'm just pausing the video here because I have been in touch with Crown Focus and they have agreed to start working with us right now. So if you use discount code VIP Adam Letter, the link is in the description. You click on that link, go to their website, and they'll take another 5% off the price. A bunch of their stuff is on sale at the moment. So click the link, go to their website, buy your stuff, install it. They've got all instructional videos, YouTube videos, all that kind of stuff. In the future, I will be buying one for my car and I'll be installing it as well. I've seen other people install them. I know some of the boys with them and they're great. So that's why I'm already endorsing this product because I think it's great and I can get you guys a discount. So the discount is already live, 5% off, VIP, Adam Letter. There's your discount. You're welcome. Let's get back into the video. So that's just covering that awesome fun bit of news that's going to help everybody out let's talk about the rest of the car so firstly let's talk about wheels wheels right not 18s okay not 17s not 16s this is a vip build right if you want a vip build you're going to be looking at minimum 19s and on a big body car looking at minimum i would say 20s obviously some dish obviously some shiny some bling bling some making it look cool so it's like sparkling as you drive down the road that is more VIP. This is not. Ooh. Brother, ooh. what's that? Now, as for ride height, this, my boys and girls, is VIP. This is what you expect to see. You want to be tucking rim front and back. You want to be on the floor, okay? It's not just a set of lowered springs. It's not just just getting rid of your wheel gap. It is actually being significantly low, okay? Now, this. Ooh. Brother, ooh. What's that? Is not VIP, okay? This is actually low, okay? Okay. Just to clear that one up. Now, wait, what? What do you, what, no, what do you mean? They just did wheels and suspension and they called it a build. What are you talking about? No, they didn't. 3.84 million subscribers and they just did wheels and suspension and called it a build. No, they, no, they didn't. They did? Oh, sorry, infotainment. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. You're, you're joking. No, okay. Um, okay. Let's cover some other things that would be included in a VIP build. One of these bad boys called a VIP table. Oh, you don't want to get one? They're only like 200 bucks. No, oh, not in your, okay, no worries. All good, all good. But yeah, that is included. A feature that I do not have and I will be getting in the future are the VIP curtains, right? You got plush curtains front and back. They actually look sick. I cannot wait to get them. They are also included in a VIP build, something you would expect to see. And sometimes even the little doilies on the seats. I'm not a big fan of them, but also included in a VIP build. A full body kit would probably also be part of a full VIP build. Not just a stock body, generally, would be classified as a VIP build. Now, generally, a lot of cars can be VIP cars. Having one of these, it's a good start. It's a good start. But please keep in mind that just throwing some basic 18s on your big body car and lowering the wheel gap out of it 
not slamming it, just lowering the wheel gap out of it is not creating a VIP build whatsoever. You hear that? Oh, Trackhawk. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, distracted. But yeah, just I want you guys to just be cleared up on that, that throwing 18s and slightly lowering your car is not making your car VIP, whether it's a Majesta or not, right? You want to be slamming the car to the floor. You want to be 20s or higher. You want to be probably body kits, probably curtains, probably doilies, VIP tables, maybe some lighting around the place. You know, I'm just trying to give you guys the information so you don't embarrass yourself at a car meet and be like, hey man, come check out my VIP build. And people are like, you put wheels on your car and put king springs in it. That's not a VIP build. And you, but but they, they said that it was. It's not. Now, I also would like to say, I don't class my car as a full VIP build. It has a lot of features of a VIP build, but I wouldn't call this a full VIP build. One last thing before we jump inside and talk about the big point of contention. Autos can have exhausts, especially auto V8s. Now, the point of contention about this whole thing, a big, big part of it, yes, technically you can buy a urs 206 majesta in a horrible color at a probably a fairly low grade of import for under four thousand dollars australian yes you can technically purchase that yes but the car will still be in japan okay yes technically you purchased it for under four thousand dollars but it's not here so please don't go to people trying to sell their URS 206 and be like, they're only worth four grand. Incorrect. You haven't imported it. You haven't paid taxes. You haven't registered it. You haven't got roadworthies. You probably, you haven't changed probably things like that are going to have to be tires and all the things you're going to need to clear a roadworthy, whether it's suspension com components or whatever it is. You've got to do all the uh, cleaning of the car and there's a whole lot that actually goes into importing a car. So to say... Oh, they're, they're under four grand. No, technically, yes, it's purchasable in your name. You legally own it for under four grand, but you're not driving it to work in Australia. Okay, let's get close. If you get the rubbish one with a horrible color and all that kind of stuff. Okay, you're probably looking at 10 grand, right? But the guys here that are selling theirs for 20 plus, they've probably got wheels, they've probably got better aftermarket suspension, they've probably got much nicer colors, much higher grade of import, etc., etc., etc. Hence the values are higher. So please, guys, don't think that you're going to be going out and getting a URS 206 Majesta for four grand in Australia. You're not. It's not a thing. It's not going to happen. If you, yes, you can technically go and buy one from Japan for that money, but it's not here. You can't, it, it, okay, just, let's just be realistic, okay? It's not going to happen. Now, I would like to give you all a disclaimer. This video was not meant as any hate whatsoever. The boys are doing a great job. They're killing it with YouTube. They're killing it with builds generally. <laughs> when they actually do a build and they don't just put wheels and suspension and call it a build. But they're doing really good stuff. This is not hate. This is purely just to educate anyone that is maybe new to the car scene, likes VIP builds, wow, likes VIP builds, and sees that and goes, oh, that's a VIP build? That's easy. No, it's not. It's not a VIP build whatsoever. Please don't just put 18s and slightly lower your car and call it a VIP build because it's, it's not. It's like... You've just made it slightly less ugly. That's all you've done. It's not a VIP build. And for a, a team with almost 4 million subscribers to do two items and then call it a build is just... It, it really baffles me. It baffles me. <laughs> Come on, guys. But I, I'm, I'm sure... I, I'm almost... I can almost guarantee these guys, the, the boys are trolling because they love trolling with their cock and ball jokes and all that kind of stuff. Like, they 100% they're going to be trolling and I can almost guarantee they're going to come out with a video in like two weeks time. They're going to be sitting on 20s. It's going to be slammed to the ground. They're going to have probably an exhaust. They're going to like, you know, just everything. They're going to have a proper, proper VRP build, right? I can, I can, I, I, 
it's got to be. Like, it's got to be a joke. A hundred percent. It's got to be a joke. They've got to do some messing with everyone. Being like, yeah, this is our VIP build, guys. Like, we put some random 18s that we found and, like, lowered it ever so slightly. Ah, look at that bit. Like, yeah. Like, surely you guys are, like, a hundred percent they're joking. If they're not, they can't not be. They can't not be. Anyway, guys, just wanted to help you all out with a bit of knowledge, a bit of background. So if you do want to have a VIP build, you kind of know what to do to a degree. Now, there are aspects I haven't covered and ones that, you know, other people may have preferences for, etc., etc., etc. So there's a lot that goes into builds and customizing, customizing, like it's making it your own, right? So you can kind of do what you want to a degree, but in the realms of VRP builds, that's kind of what you're looking at, right? Now, don't forget, we are going to be working with Crown Focus in the future, so you're going to be able to get discounts. So if you want them, just maybe wait a little while until I give you my discount code, and then you guys can get like percent off, which they are quite expensive, so you save yourself a lot of money. But like I said, no hate, all love to everybody, just a bit of knowledge, bit of fun. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. See you guys.